Okay, let me show you what I got going on over here with the rear wheels. So, found out that the brake shoe, which is this here, was not put on the car here, and obviously that's why I had no parking brake. So, first thing I did was I took a look at this at the advice of uh, some of the folks on the forum here that the cover may be slightly dented um, and it might be rubbing on the wheel when the wheel goes on this uh, um, on the axle. And so I put tape all on this, masking tape, put the wheel back on and it was just touching right about right in here. So the next thing I did was I took a piece of wood, put it against here and lightly tapped it to see if I could tap this in a little because maybe it was sticking out and it didn't move. So that tells me that I'm going to need to put this shim on. So this is the shim right here that I've got on the axle itself. You can see the key and the shim itself. And as you put the shim all the way back, it opens up so the key will actually fit. So my next step here is going to be to see if I could adjust the cam so that when I'm in uh, neutral, it is like this and the brakes are as uh, open as possible and not twisted to actually apply the brakes. And I'm running into the same issue that most people have and that is that the brake liner uh, here is too thick. You can see the uh, thickness of it right there. Um, it was on the car before and you can see how it's all really super shiny which means that it was rubbing pretty good, which is not what it's supposed to do. So you can see that right there. Uh, so I'm gonna have to end up um, sanding that down somehow and keeping it round. Um, I tested the actual uh, brake shoe in the brake drum here. I put it in the brake drum and it is round. It's, it's touching all the way around inside, which is a good thing. Put this felt uh, washer in here too that was missing with that little seal, so that's done. And so the next thing going to be is going to be to get this brake shoe to fit. And once I get the brake shoe to fit on here properly with this properly adjusted, uh, then I can go ahead and put the wheel back on and actually put this at the uh, right amount of foot pounds. I'm going to put it at about 120 foot pounds. Um, that's the, uh, the nut over here, as well as the cotter pin. When I took it apart, the cotter pin was missing as well as uh, the nut was on finger tight, which is obviously not good. Luckily, I didn't drive the car really that far. I just kind of test drove it down the street a couple of times and that was about it. So that's where I'm at with the axle.